Now then, Mucker. Hi guys, um, decided I'm going to re-record everything that I filmed this morning as if you look up into that corner you will see it was very windy and all you can hear on the microphone is wind. So I'm really sorry about that, so here we go. Basically I was saying I'm really loving living on my own. It's, well, you know, on our own. I'm really grateful for people who have put us up in the past and things like that, but it's so good to be out on our own, in our own place. And as you may have noticed if you've been watching over the past week, me and Tess um, have just been having like vegetarian meals and stuff. And if you'd have met me like a year or two ago, you would have known, you, I just wouldn't have gone anywhere near something like a salad. Even having it in like burgers and stuff, I was like, no, can't do it. But now I've opened my eyes to it, it's like, I feel great for eating all this like food. I know it sounds simple and like, duh, but you do feel so much better for it. I mean like we're working out and stuff like that and then we feel fantastic, we both do. Really sort of feeling more confident about ourselves and stuff, which is the best feeling ever. It really is. I'm keeping up my um, my sit-ups, but I've been deciding to like change it up a bit so I do like half of my I was doing before and then doing like push-ups and stuff. And I'm really feeling the push-ups. I used to be like, I used to be pretty good at push-ups, I like being arrogant, but it, I used to be able to just sort of whack them out and every time we had a competition in secondary school I always used to sort of come out first on the push-ups competition. <laughs> I'm going to send you back to the morning. I saw an, um, an Apple advert last night on television. This bloke had, he had this little kid on his lap and he had his, his phone and he had some sort of um, lens attached to it. Like I used to have a, um, a fisheye lens I could attach to my phone. I decided I'm not going to try and use it on this because my, after like a year or two of having it on there, it was like a little magnet that was attached to the back. It said it was perfectly fine. My camera started to pack up. But this lens that I seen this chap had was awesome. It was like, um, it was like a super macro or something like that. It, it fitted over the phone. And he, you've probably seen, you may have seen it. Um, and he's looking down at this like tiny, tiny insect. He's next to the sea and then obviously the sea comes rushing in and he has to run off because he doesn't want to get his phone wet or his child. <laughs> but I was thinking that would be so cool to get. And once I've got a little bit more money, I'm going to research that and see if I can pick one up. It's weird after vlogging for, this is day 17. 17 days, high five for day 17. What is weird is I've noticed all these little like sayings I have and stuff that I didn't even know I said and that my voice sounds so much different than I think it actually sounds. I know it's that age old thing of hearing your voice on a recording you're like, do I actually sound like that? And I thought my voice was a lot deeper than it actually is. <laughs> it's quite funny really. Like I'll say things like, so that'd be really cool and then I skip and go to the next clip I have recorded. <laughs> or you'll notice um, the end of most clips I laugh and then it skips to the next one. <laughs> it's just something I've noticed I do. I want to be serious with you guys as well. Um, as I want to keep doing these, and hopefully you guys want me to keep doing it as well, because I've had a lot of good feedback saying that they're really funny, people love seeing Francesca and stuff, but I want to know what you guys, what actually you want to see more of, what if I want to talk about something more, or anything like that. So I need you to comment in the little comment section, or go to the Facebook, at facebook.com forward slash welcome to Narville. So I need you to comment on there what you want to see more of, what you would like to see us do, and things like that. So the more interaction, the better. Sometimes you just can't beat good, simple old cheese on toast. I know it's really windy, but I'm pretty sure that the old lady behind me was the lady that's been on Jeremy Kyle for getting her tits out and being banned from all the pubs in this <laughs> in the area that I live. <laughs> Plus, the hat she has on says sexy. <laughs> so I've actually just been songwriting whilst next to Beanie Ween and she loves it when I play guitar. She'll be like, wee, whingy and cry. And then all of a sudden I start playing guitar and she's like, all like that. Been songwriting and I don't know, I've, I've got to the point where I need to stop limiting myself to try and write in one genre. Because I just, I don't know, I'm really struggling because I'm used to only writing ska punk. Now I want to try and do something different, I'm really just struggling. Because I don't really know how to write any other way. 
Uh, and it's great because I'm figuring out new melodies, things like that, and how to play songs in a style that I've always wanted to do, really. So just been jamming on the old guitar there and coming up with some really cool ideas that have sort of mashed out this like song. It sounds like it'd be a wicked intro song to an EP. But it's like nothing that I really wanted to go for, but it what comes natural every time I start playing guitar and stuff like that, it's it's just what comes out. And I think sometimes it's best off to just stick with that, isn't it? Like what comes natural. Go with the flow, you know? Mm. 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 <laughs> I don't have a beak like you. I'm a pig. Little duckling sees someone looking for nuts on the ground. Are you my mummy? He asks. No, chirps the squirrel. I don't have one. Last night, me and Tess, uh, we watched that the program on Channel 4. It was a documentary. Um, and it was called uh, Undercover Boss, and it's the, the CEO of Oxfam. He went und undercover in disguise and went to all of his shops, all the recycling centres and things like that they have. He went to South Sudan where there's a massive crisis on at the moment and stuff like that. And basically you see how, we saw how hard they were working and stuff like that. And we've been actually been looking at um, the adverts on telly for a while now, and we just never took any notice of it because I don't know um, about you guys but sort of growing up you, you see the adverts on telly all the time and you just sort of know you just don't take any notice of like the charity adverts asking for money and stuff and watching that documentary really opened my eyes to think that it really did show that they do actually get the money's worth of what they're getting you know what, what people give them the money for which was like food for thought because um, there was one bloke who worked in Oxfam saying, no, 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 there was um, a chap who came up and saying that the people at the top were taking all the money and the people out there weren't getting it and how can we know and, and he was actually complaining and saying this to the actual CEO and I thought that was weird to see because you could see he was holding himself back and he really wanted to say, you'd be surprised how little I earn and he even quoted him and said that himself. So we felt really inspired by watching it and we actually decided to give some money. Only a small amount a month, but it's just a really nice sort of feeling because the lady was on the phone and she said that like, you know, you're a lifesaver with the small amount you've already given. It's, you know, helping this and this and this and it's just like, you just, I don't know. I felt really rewarded, both me and Tess have and we're really happy that we're helping just somebody else out there now. Uh, I've been invited to a friend's party on the 9th, um, his name's Sean O, well, name's Sean, but he's like one of the biggest legends I know. Old Sean O's, he's like a brother to me, he's like my brother's best friend, so he's always helped out, you know, when I was in school, in trouble and stuff, and things like that, he's always been about, so mega excited, I'm going to get to take you guys with me to this party, should be a good laugh, you get to see how much of a lightweight I am. <laughs> I almost want to say sorry about the um, sort of the lack of content that's you know happened today, but um, we've just had a bit of a, a lazy day really. Um, one of those days where I've been like, oh yeah, I could have done maybe without vlogging, but I just just want to stick with it. I want to keep going every day and just see how far we can go. So number seventeen, that's pretty cool. You know, we've done our exercises as well. I was going to film it, but I don't know if I want to because we like to do things our own way, and you know, everyone has their own way of doing things and I don't want any criticism at this moment, if you know what I mean. I just want to sort of get on with it because I feel like I'm seeing results in myself already. Not only how I look and how I feel as well. We was also thinking of organising, or well possibly, we're only in the talks at the moment, but organising some sort of like charity walk to raise some money for something. And it's like a, another goal to work towards with the exercise that we're doing for ourselves as well. But if we can raise money for somebody, then even better, you know? Absolutely loving the amount of comments we're getting as well. That's really cool. People are liking the videos and sharing them around and stuff like that. And it is so cool. So we're coming towards the end of this one again today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little song that I recorded at the end of yesterday's vlog. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. If you've got any like funny songs you think that I could sing, like little bits of choruses I could sing at the end of videos, Go down there and put them in the comments, just scroll down, whatever side it is, 
scroll down, put them in the comments, and I'll make like a crappy little song at the end of each video, just because I thought it was really funny, and I hope you guys did as well. So, I've been the Spicy Nacho, we've been the Spicy Fam, and you guys are complete legends. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Out in the street, we're taking names. We're spicy fam, and we're age that lame. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck.